did a uh, right in last part is in uh, can you repeat last part uh, ether part is in oh ether part is not but uh, uh, alcohol and uh, anol is done right yes <clears throat> okay so going to start from very basic uh, like ncrt from ncrt to, to men's level we will so you just need to tell me in this question uh, which one is primary secondary tertiary alcohol degree of alcohol basically Madhya, please calculate the degree of alcohol. Uh, so see what is the degree of this madhya degree of alcohol so degree of halogen and degree of alcohol calculated by the degree of carbon to which it is connected can you tell me shahid what is the degree of this carbon this is one degree because it is attached to only one deg uh, one carbon directly so it is primary you wrote it tertiary right this is also primary this is also primary this is your secondary because to the carbon this oh is connected that is two degree because this carbon is directly attached to two degree carbon that's why this is also secondary alcohol and this is your tertiary alcohol is that clear shahid yes. very good what about you madhya please do respond
Okay, can I change the slide? <clears throat> Harif. Yes, sir. Are you done with the previous one? Yes, sir. Any answer for the first one? It's basic question of nomenclature. Tharif, mm. mm. where is chloro in the first? Chlorine is there, right? You didn't mention yes, chlorine. Yes. Very good. Very good, Shahid. Madhya, waiting for your answer.
very oh two comma six okay okay dimethyl canola i think i thought diethyl very good side please do this as well and this Uh, will you be able to write the name of this ether? Yes or no? Madhya, no answer from you. So I'm going uh, to see. Ether, if you're going to write the name, it will be alkoxy alkene. You know that this is bridging functional group O and then this, this. The one which is having less number of carbon, that will be alkoxy. And this is your parent gen. So you can see one, two, three. This is your parent gen and one, two. This is your not parent chain because it is having less number of carbon. Okay. So what will be the name? Two. And this is your how many number of carbon? Two. So it. And since we are treating this as a substituent, so two ethoxy propane. Is that clear? For this, you can see. One, two. So, one, this is your ethoxy. So, its name will be one ethoxy, two nitro cyclohexane. <clears throat> Sir, why two? Because we need to give the position as well na? at the second number of carbon, you can see. It is oxy, ethoxy, that's why position it is. Got it, Shahid? And this is the name of this. Very good, Tarif. <clears throat> Everyone done with this? Tarif, Shahid, Madiha. Very good. This is especially on the what we say nomenclature of alcohol. Please do it.
Yes. This question is from Telugu, right? Uh, what did you say? This question is from textbook, right? Yes, yes, exactly. I started from very basic. You have already solved this, Savage? Yes. Okay, then uh, try it once again, do practice. It won't take long time for you. Yes, this will be up to nomenclature, then we will go to the <coughs> reaction directly. So this question, you are, how many of you already solved it? If you all are solved uh, this question, just let me know. If you have already solved this question, please do respond. You don't know Shahid means? You don't know how to solve it. Oh, this is nomenclature. This is the functional group, main functional group. One, two, three, four, five. And if you are going to do this, three, four, it will be. Uh, sir, can I tell? Uh, yes, yes. Two, uh, subbutyl, uh, three, methyl fluoride, uh, pentanol. Mm, can you repeat it? I'm not able to butyl something you told, right? Yes, sir. Uh, two sec three propyl, uh, three methyl fluoride, uh, pentanol. No, you okay, see, uh, first of all, the name will be uh, this is your chloromethyl. So I'm going to write three chloromethyl. And then at the second position, what is this? Two isopropyl. This is your common name, isopropyl. And how many carbon in the parent chain? Five. So pen, pen, one all or pentanol. We can directly write. Very Sorry, good. Uh, yes. Isopropyl. We can also tell it as a sec propyl. Right? Secondary propyl. Secondary butyl. The propyl. Propyl, you can call it. Yes, it is secondary. This is quite easy. The next one, one, two, three, four, five, six. So you can see that two comma five dimethyl hexane one comma three diol. Yes or no? Yes, Shahid, sir. are you getting it? And Madhya, why are you not responding? Okay, this is very easy. One, two, three, three bromo cyclohexane 
वन ऑल और साइक्लोहेक्जेनॉल थ्री ब्रोमो साइक्लोहेक्जेनॉल नाउ सी वन टू थ्री फोर एंड इफ यू आर गोइंग टू डू नंबरिंग फ्रॉम हेयर वन टू थ्री सो वी आर गोइंग टू डू नंबरिंग फ्रॉम लेफ्ट टू राइट सो इट विल बी वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सो इट विल बी हैग्स वन इन थ्री ऑल हैग्स वन इन थ्री ऑल isn't it easy shahid uh, tarif where is this for two bromo oh, sorry sir that i okay, want to that is for the fifth question i'll write for the fourth yeah 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 got it 1 2 3 4 two bromo three methyl but two in one all so its name will be two bromo Three methyl but two in one all. Is that clear, everyone? Very good. Okay, moving to the next question. Tell me, Sahid Madiha. simple question the same question that we already did in the previous chapter how many isomers of c5h11oh will be वेरी गुड मोहम्मद शारीफ एनी आंसर शाहिद शावेज मदीहा वेरी गुड मदीहा शावेज वेरी गुड शाहिद एनी आंसर so it's very easy shahid c5h11oh oh 1 2 3 4 5 and oh now you are going to draw all the isomers of this and you will find out that there is only four isomers which is having primary alcohol is that clear same question we did in halogens i will recommend you to please go through each and every question of ncrt of halo alkanes and halo arenes each and every conversion the theoretical question numerical question the 
uh, reacts and conversion each and everything and this chapter will be very easy that's why i always start from ncrt and the question which are easy for the previous one i take that only first and if you are able to do this question the tough question can be easily solved so i hope you understand this please do this any answer a oh, wrong answer so is can you tell me which uh, what is the name of the reagent hcl plus anhydride zn cl2 lucas is lucas reagent lucas reagent is what can you tell me um, the mechanism uh, basically the intermediate that form in lucas reagent using on alcohol what it will be which of the following reaction can be used for the preparation of alkyl halide very good shahid one is the right answer oh just wait a minute i didn't give you the option sorry 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 this is the number of ways actually this is the option
Any answer now? Very good. So see, in this Lucas reagent, formation of carbocation takes place. And you know that two degree carbocation is less, uh, three degree carbocation is more stable than two degree than one degree carbocation. So you can see <clears throat> this is your one degree, one degree. This is your two degree, which can be proceed, okay? And this is your tertiary. So it's very easy. But for these two, one degree, one degree, and option one is with anhydride ZnCl2. So this can proceed, but here no anhydride ZnCl2 is there. That's why it won't proceed. So the correct answer is this, one, three, and fourth only. So the option A is correct. Sir, here I third one. Uh, what did you say? Oh, third one is correct, sir. Third one. Yeah, one third. Third is third one. Third is basically tertiary, na? Tertiary carbocation is too much stable than the secondary and first uh, one right, degree. Sir, there is a Lucas reagent is not present. Yeah, Lucas reagent is not present here, but tertiary carbocation is more stable. That's why it will form. And here Lucas reagent is not present and it is primary. That's why it will not form. Are you getting my point with this? Lucas reagent yes, is there. Lucas reagent is there in first and tertiary. Lucas reagent is not there, but one degree is very less stable. So it will not form uh, carbocation, primary carbocation. And since it is tertiary, whether you are going to use ZnCl2 and hydrate ZnCl2 or not, it will be all right. Okay, everyone. Please do respond. Yes, sir. Madhya, are you there? Okay, can I change the slide? No, sir, I'm ready. Okay, just wait a minute. Yes, I do. <clears throat> Very easy. The wrong answer, Tharif. Okay, that's good now. So, always it's wrong answer. <clears throat> Secondary alcohol. It is oxidation basically. If it is primary, it will be converted into aldehyde. If it is secondary, then it will be converted into alkene. If you remember this reaction, CH3, CH2OH, copper in the present uh, at 573 Kelvin. Oxidation will take place. Hmm. 
this is your secondary alcohol copper at 573 kelvin oxidation will take place ketone and if you have tertiary alcohol if you have tertiary alcohol then here it will be alkene formation will take place alkene formation will take place tertiary secondary is always always going ketone and primary is aldehyde isn't it easy Let me know when you are done with this. The next question from NCRT, let's see how many of you can solve it. <coughs> Basic reaction is there only.
Any answer? Question edit. The question is beauty number. Yes. <coughs> yes, did you say anything? So I did all of Very good. Anyone else? Very easy. Catalytic reduction. Which reagent you use? This is your the first one, A. Which reagent you used? This is your butanol. You need to add hydrogen in the presence of palladium. So this will be reduced to butanol. CS3, CS2, CH2, OH. Simple. So you can add nickel also, right? Yes, yes. Okay. The next one B is hydration of propene. So this will be your hydration of propene that means you are going to add water in the presence of acid acidic hydration is there so you know that this water has two part h plus and oh minus and here marconico follow marconico in the previous chapter <coughs> we saw that negative part will go to that carbon which has less number of hydrogen positive to that carbon along double bond, which has greater number of hydrogen. So it will be something like that, CH3, CHOH, and then CH3. <clears throat> that means we propane to all will form. The third one is <coughs> a reaction of <coughs> reaction with Greg Nard reagent. Propanone, I'm going to show you the whole reaction. CH3, CO, CH3. And if you're going to react this with methyl, 
magnesium bromide <coughs> followed by water so the first step is like this you know that oxygen will take electron from carbon so there will be negative there will be positive carbon will have negative sign and this will have positive because carbon is non metal more electronegative than metal magnesium which is electropositive so this will be attacking here and this will be attacking on oxygen so what you will get ch3 c <coughs> o negative and mg plus and br and here you can see ch3 is there and this ch3 directly attack on that so this will be ch3 after this followed by hydrolysis that means h plus and oh minus now again you can see it's very easy to understand <coughs> this is your <coughs> positive so it will go with negative and this will go with positive so what you will get ch3 c ch3 is above ch3 on the right hand side and with oxygen o negative h plus comes and it makes uh, basically you can see two methyl propane two all and the byproduct will be mgoh br isn't it easy all of you <coughs> Okay. Can we move to the next question? Shavez, have you done it correctly, all of it? Yes, sir. <clears throat> Can I change the slide? Yes, sir. <clears throat> Madhya, are you there? Okay, everyone, I'm going to change the slide. If anyone is writing, please let me know. So this question also comes from NCRT first. We're going to cover it up. Please do it.
Any answer? Sorry, sir. Yeah, Shavid, are you done with this? Shahid. So the first question is about uh, heat and trial, or you can say. So how are the following alcohols prepared? By a reaction of suitable Grignard reagent on methanol. Methanol you are going to take. This is your methanol. HCHO. That means I'm going to take HC double bond OH. That means I can write it like H2 C double bond O. Okay. <coughs> suitable <coughs> Grignard reagent. So basically, <coughs> <laughs> yeah, you can see that from here to here we need to go CH3, CH, CH3, CH2, OH. From here to here we can, we need to go. You know that when you are going to reduce it, this part will be converted into this part. <laughs> Just wait a minute. So what I was saying is that this is your CH2. And this is your CH2OH. So when it will be reduced, hydrogen will be added here. So that means we need this part to be attacked. So what we are going to use, very simple. <clears throat> it will be like this. CH3, CH and CH3 is there. And attach MGBR here. You can see CH3, you are going to attach MGBR here. And if you don't believe, I'm going to react this Grignard with MG, uh, sorry, HCHO, HC double bond OH. Now you know that this will go like this, negative, positive. This is negative, this is positive. So it will be attacking on here. So I'm going to write this part first. So it will be H2C double bond O. So it becomes O negative. MG plus will be come here will come here at this position and <clears throat> this carbon is attacking on this CH which has CH3 already and there is CH3 this side and followed by hydrolysis that means H plus and OH minus you know that what will happen now uh, hydrogen was there that I forgot to write so this will go here so what it becomes H2 is there COH and then you can see CH2 is there, CH3, sorry, CH is there and CH3. So can I write this as this CH3, CH2, C, oh, wait a minute. Uh -oh. <clears throat> Just uh, count the number of bond. I have done some mistakes here. Four bond, this is four bond. So, oh, oh, oh. We have I made it. Two hydrogen is here. I thought it is one. So after this, this will be attacking here. So it becomes CH2 and so it becomes CH2. OH is there. CH is there. CH3 is there. And CH3 is there. So you can see how can you write this CH3? <coughs> CH. CS3, then CS2OH. It becomes the same reagent, yes or no? <laughs> same product. Are you getting my point? What I just did? I saw you that this is your ethanol, sorry, methanol, and I wrote it like this, and this is your CS2OH, which it will reduce to become, and this will be your. Is that clear, everyone? <clears throat> yes or no? Yes sir. yes, sir. Okay. The next one is also very easy. What you need to do? 
what I did, it's very simple to understand that CS3, CS, CS3, and I took MGVR here. In the same way, you can see you are going to take this, you are going to remove this CS2OH. Just remove this CS2OH and add MGVR. In the same way, you are going to remove this and add MGVR here and react this with HCHO, you will get your answer. That means proper <coughs> Grignard reagent will be this cyclohexane magnesium bromide. This reaction is very easy, already done. My Marconico will follow and it will be CS3CH. Yes. This is NABH4, which has tendency to reduce. This is very important reagent. It has tendency to reduce only aldehyde and ketone, not Reduction carboxylic rate. acid, not carboxylic acid, not <coughs> ester. It can reduce only uh, this ketone and carboxylic uh, ketone and aldehyde, not carboxylic acid. Okay. Now see. You know that this is your ester, so this part will be as it is. It cannot reduce this, but this will be converted into OH. Are you getting my point, all of you? <laughs> See, this is NABH4, so it can reduce this into alcohol, so it becomes CH3, CH2, and then CH, and again CH3 and CHO. Everyone done with this? Yes, I done. Very good. You are going to arrange this in increasing or decreasing order of. Can I change the slide? <laughs> mm, yes, Sayed. Let me know if you want me to scroll it up a little higher. More up. <laughs> mm. 
Let me know when you are done with this. Methanol will have the most boiling point. Tarif? Yes. Methanol, according to the order that you gave me, it means that the it will have the most boiling point, right? Yes. <clears throat> Yes, it's wrong. I'll do it again. No. And in between them, Shahid. I'm going to write the value. Increasing order. So methanol will be the first lowest. And then comes your ethanol. <coughs> then comes your propane one all. Yes, and dances. Okay. And then comes your butane two all. Then comes your butane all, butane one all. And then comes your pentane all. Am I audible to you? This is the four, first one. Okay. Next one, pentane one all and mutant. So hydrocarbon will be there first. Then comes your 
ether, ethoxyethane. <laughs> then comes your aldehyde. And then comes your pentane one all. Chavez, did you do it correctly? <laughs> Very good. Madhya Rifan, you uh, everyone done with this respect to me. Okay. Please arrange this in increasing or decreasing order of <laughs> acidic strength.
any answer? Okay, first of all, I'm going to write it in this way. <clears throat> Propanol, uh, you know that phenol is more acidic than alcohol. That means this propanol will be at last. Okay, 2,4,6 trinitrophenol. You know that acidic strength. I think the answer is given here. Vitamin P, yes, the answer I already copy pasted. All I want to tell you is that acidic strength <coughs> directly proportional to minus I or minus R, or you can say electron withdrawing group. <coughs> so in this nitro trinitrophenol, we have three electron withdrawing group, two comma, four comma, six it's like this okay and three nitrophen also the most acidic will be this one two comma six four comma six then this one then if you are going for then it will be this one then it will be this one then it will be this one last will be the propanol so the answer is already given in the question <coughs> is that clear is that clear everyone so in the next class you are going to <clears throat> cover up to uh, alcohols and phenols whole. Chemical reaction, we are going to do it. Okay, one more question from 1993. The last question for today. <clears throat> Let me know when you are done with this. Any answer? So it's very easy. What is formed under a primary alcohol undergoes catalytic dehydrogenase. <clears throat> Please let me know. Dehydrogenation, hydrogen removal, that means a reduction taking place. And when 